Hey, how's it going guys? DJ F here and today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to install a VST within FL Studio and many other dolls because it should work the same way. So smash that like button, but you know, specifically, specifically, I'm going to be talking about FL Studio installing VSTs and whatnot. So we have Tontu Icarus right there. Right now it's in beta access, so that's how I got it so early. It's open for the public for, to try it out before you buy it. So, you know, right clicking and extracting here, what that will do will it will extract and, you know, I'm, I'm replacing because it's already in front of me. Uh, it, it will extract whatever the appropriate zip file is to its appropriate area or its immediate area where it's located. So, you know, that's how you do that. So now you have what many other VSTs will have, which are two different versions, which is like 32 bit and 64 bit. I'm running 64 bit Windows 10 and that's the only way that I can roll at this point but you know some people might have an issue with trying to find out which version of you know if they need a 32 bit or whatever or this the 64 bit you can right click here and and click on properties to find out which version uh, that you have and you know that's how you will know which one that you need to install so i'm going to install the 64 bit version you know just double left click or if you're on a trackpad just double click on wherever area and then, of course, it pulls up, you know, a media information there in which, you know, you see welcome to tone to or whatnot. Sometimes if you, you know, from a regular VST, you will probably have like serial numbers or something like that. You had to put in or whatever type of information. Just read up on that. But, you know, I'm going to click next, you know, go and this license agreement, which we all never read, which you should read, you know, it's telling you whatever you know warnings or whatnot and why they shouldn't get sued so my the media folder that they pulled up in the c drive or whatever my my main hard drive is program files vst you know that's usually what you want to uh to install your stuff some some people might have it different but i use plugin i use the pro program files <laughs> vst and you know i'm just gonna click next so that's fine then install then you know you go through the dramatic process of the installation it, it's gonna take a it looks like it's gonna take a minute then install installing like all the wave files the fxp files and whatnot from all the presets that are included which is this is a pretty big file i think zipped it was 230 plus megabytes so that means that this is going to be a healthy vst <clears throat> so that's that's cool that's what I wanted, <laughs> you know, and I'm very excited about this particular VST in its own right. Tone 2, <laughs> boy, have I been having fun with Electric 2, and man, it, it seems like it's a little bit too late, but you know, you never know. So it's almost done installing, so you know, you click finish or whatever, and then we're gonna move forward from there. So I'm gonna make sure I add the 64 bit version. I'm going to delete these two install files. And this is the shortcut that it pulls. As you see, I got Nemesis and Ray Blaster and all the other standalones there. So, but, you know, I want to open up an FL Studio. So here we go. Clicked on the FL Studio. And, and from there, you know, you just go into uh, your options and then go into manage plugins. Manage plugins will pull up. Again, this is FL Studio 12, guys. So you have it from there you know I, I try to make sure that you know rescan previous ver verify plugins is not checked and same thing with rescan plugins with errors because I don't have any plugins with errors if you do have plugins with errors and ver and previous verified plugins are acting crazy I would I suggest that you select these two so from there we're just gonna go ahead and just go and start to scan as you can see while it's scanning and stuff like that which would be a second you can see that there's multiple directories and this is kind of the advantage of uh, the new fl studio 12 is that you know you kind of can install your pl uh, your plugins freely amongst any area around here and you know you'll and you can just you know add a path and then go in there and you can still have it so now it says 235 plugins found I'm going to go and I'm looking for a green plugin. 
a plugin name that's in green. So I see Icarus right here. Icarus, I'm gonna check it. As you see, you know, that's it's there. And from that point, you just close. And from that standpoint, and for many other VSTs like that, it will pull up just like it would in like FL Studio 11 and below. And you know, that's the magic here. So I'm just gonna pull up Icarus, and see if it's working properly. And it says, welcome to Tone 2 Icarus. I wanted to test it out. Saving is disabled. I bought I bought it from Tone 2. I want to activate it. So, yeah. Oh, Icarus. So let's see how this first preset sounds. Okay, it's pretty piped up from the jump. But yeah, that's basically about it. If you like this video, give it a like. If you have any uh, comments and questions, please ask, you know, make sure that you're watching the whole entire video. It's too late for me to say that. But, you know, if you have a, any questions that I didn't answer in this video, please ask. <clears throat> any other random <laughs> questions that you ask that I probably answered in this video will probably be ignored. And then I try to help as many people as possible. I'm DJ Adam McCree. Thank you for your time. And I am out of here. Later.